going to do another style video and I'm alone in the condo again so I'm going to tape a couple of style videos because it's the easiest time for me to do this. So today's style video is going to be my brown dresses. So I only actually have four brown dresses. A couple of them are slightly more formal or for a nice dinner occasion and the others are really casual. So let's get started and I hope you guys enjoy. So this first dress I bought from Ann Taylor Loft, I want to say two summers ago, and it's the perfect summer dress. I've gotten a lot of good use out of this, and I've also actually worn this to a couple of really nice dinners, and it's a very pretty and simple dress. This one's um, also got a more defined waistline than some of the other dresses I've been showing you. It has a really um, thin pair of straps, so this is the type of thing you have to either go without a bra, wear stickies, or wear a um, sticky bra on. And um, it's kind of got this rouging detail across the front, and it's kind of got more a scoop neck than a v-neck like the rest of the dresses I've been showing you. It's really fitted across my actual waist area, and in that area there's this nice little pattern, kind of like an eyelet, like the black dress I talked about in my little black dress video. So there's big circles cut out in the fabric. Um, that make a flower pattern and you can't actually see through because it's got a solid piece of fabric behind it but you can see where it's cut out and sewn so you have a nice pattern there. Then the rest of the dress is lightly flowing away from the body and then this eyelet fabric starts about halfway down the dress and I don't know if you can see it from here but um, it's a very large sort of cut out floral pattern in the dress. It's got a nice little second layer underneath this is kind of what it looks like. And then I paired with it some really pretty bronze and gold accessories and a really pretty pair of bronze sandals. So the necklace I paired with this is a really long chain necklace that I've doubled around my neck so it's got a shorter length and a longer length. And it's got these little sort of dangly beads on it that are gold and bronze alternating. And then the bracelet I'm wearing is a large bangle that's got some sort of um, yellow gold, rose gold, and a darker sort of brown alternating across the pattern. It's just a nice bangle. And then the earrings that I'm wearing are a pair of gold earrings that are more sort of diamond in shape. They're just really simple and feminine. And then the sandals that I would wear with this are from Tahari. I've shown you this in a video before. They're a bronze pair of sandals that have a cork heel sort of a platform or an espadrille and they're really cute and comfortable. This next brown dress I'm going to show you is a little bit more formal and I've worn this to a wedding before and out of the night on the town a couple of times when I was in Europe. Also I've worn it to some parties and I really really love this dress. It's a very pretty feminine um, dress and I bought this at a store like TJ Maxx or Marshalls but it wasn't exactly those stores and I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. This dress was less than $40 and I've had it for a couple of years. It's a very pretty feminine floral dress and it has spaghetti straps, a sort of deeper v-neck so it is a little bit more sexy. Um, it has a cinch here right underneath the bust line where there's a bow that it ties in the back. And then it has this top layer that's all lace and it's very pretty and feminine and it's kind of scalloped at the uh, bottom of the dress. And then underneath is just a solid uh, brown colored fabric kind of what it looks like from behind. It's got the pretty bow, which I probably didn't tie very well. And then I paired with it a really cute pair of sexy heels and some of the same jewelry accessories that I showed you in the last dress, just because they worked very well for this dress as well. So this is kind of what the dress looks like. So I've also continued to wear the long necklace that I've doubled over just because I thought it worked really nicely with this dress. I've also kept the um, multicolored bangle just because it works excellently with the shoes that I paired and I'll show you those in a second and I'm wearing the same gold earrings. These are the heels that I placed with this outfit and I got them from BCBG Girl. They were something like $80 and I bought them two or three years ago and I've worn these a lot. They're really comfortable 
considering how high they are and how thin the back heel is. But it, I think what helps is that the straps are really com comfortable and soft. And the reason I kept the bangle is because these shoes have a brown strap, a sort of rose gold strap, and a gold strap. So this next dress I'm going to show you is a really pretty dress from Ann Taylor Loft. And like I said, Ann Taylor Loft is a great place for people of all shapes and sizes, but specifically petites because they have a petite section. And they have things ranging from really casual to formal, for younger people, for more business type people. So it's the perfect type of store for most women out there. So this dress, I actually bought this at a thrift store and um, with less than $20. I don't remember the exact price, so I don't usually keep the prices around. So the fabric, or at least the top layer of the fabric, is kind of like a crochet texture, and it has this nice like pattern that runs through it. It has a little bit of a cap sleeve that's flowy away from the body, a V-neck, and there's a nice tie cinching at the um, bust line here. It's kind of a straight dress that flows straight down from my body to about my knee area, and I'm wearing with it just a really simple pair of flat bronze sandals. This is kind of what it looks like from the back. It does have a second layer, which serves as a really nice slip, so it's not going to be see-through. And it's kind of interesting because it's almost like a dress where the entire under layer is kind of a slip, and then you have this sort of see-through over layer. So it's kind of like the top part is like you're wearing a physical slip with straps underneath. So that's kind of cool about the dress. So like I said, I've got a really simple pair of sandals, and then I have a bracelet, necklace, and earring set from Brighton that I'll show you. This is kind of what the dress looks like up close. Alright, so you've all seen this before. This is the bracelet. Nice floral pattern. The matching necklace. And the earrings, which I don't think I showed in the other video. They just match the same. has a flower, and there's little Swarovski crystals in the middle. These are all from Brighton. And then the sandals you've seen before, um, these ones are from Kenneth Cole, just a simple pair of flat bronze sandals. The last dress I'm going to show you is this dress I bought at the thrift store, and it's from Calvin Klein. It's um, a really simple, fun peasant dress, and as you can't tell, peasant dresses are kind of my thing. Um, so this one also has sort of a cap sleeve, but this one has a nice detailed pattern on the side. It has a deeper v-neck, and down the v-neck runs the same pattern. And then the bottom of the dress is all just sort of one solid color, and then it has some um, parts where the fabric ends, and then it's like cut and then sewn again, and then it's cut apart and then it's sewn again, and it has a nice sort of ruffling detail here off to the bottom, and it's just a really nice loose flowy skirt that's really easy to throw on. So I picked a really simple pair of gold sandals to wear with this, and I decided that all of my accessories would be gold toned or bronze toned in their color. But I also decided to throw something in there that had a little more color than any of the other things I've shown you. And um, I'll just start with the earrings. So the earrings are one of my favorite pairs of earrings. They're a gold pair of hoops that have these little um, long dangly pieces and some beads interspersed. And they're one of my favorite pairs. I bought these from TJ Maxx. The necklace I paired with it is a really long sort of beaded necklace that has green stones and sort of oranges or bronze toned stones um, interspersed. And I've got it sort of doubled over just to make it a little bit more shorter. And then I've paired with this um, my green emerald ring. And I got this for my birthday for my parents when I was in college. It's one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. And then the sandals that I paired with it, you've seen before in my um, new shoes haul. But these are these gold shoes that I bought from DKNY at Marshalls. And they were $16.99. They're really cute, comfortable, and easy to walk in. So those are all of my brown dresses. A couple of them could be worn a little more formally. Probably the first two would be a little more formal. And the last two would be a little bit more casual. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy and you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.